sorry I'm late. I had to convince the mayor once again to let us have a little longer leash. What the hell is going on here? The chief is interesting because of the fact that even though he's the head of Dragnet, he still doesn't know what's going on with the different agents and he just, he, he has a very loose grasp on his agents. What the hell is going on here? We all know what we're doing, but the chief doesn't really know what's going on, so he's trying to make everything work and he has no idea what the individual pieces are doing within the organization. On one hand, he's very serious, uh, almost a, a straight man for the humor, but at the same time he takes part in the humorous scenes and, and he becomes, I think, a humorous character even though he's, he's not humorous himself. Uh, I know that uh, in the current script it says that he's uh, supposed to be wise and yet a bit senile. And I'm a little worried because uh, Alex hasn't asked me to be any more senile than I already am, so I guess I had that part. The original Dragon and Spies episodes had the Chief be portrayed by two different actors. Um, for the web series, though, I thought it would be entertaining to go with a new direction, one that would create really fresh dynamics between the Chief and the agents. And so I was really tempted to use this one actor who auditioned for us as kind of a a Rastafarian, stoner, clueless chief type, which I thought could be really entertaining. Um, Bradley, though, was very adamant on using the actor from the original second and third episode, which was Bill Mihalik. Alex wanted to use Cliff for the chief, but I really wanted to use Bill Mihalik again. Bill was in the series from the beginning, and he became a strong character to play as the chief. Bradley, though, eventually convinced me that using Bill for the web series was the way to go, and he was absolutely correct. I'm really glad we went with Bill, but my strategy for the chief portrayal in this series and for Bill was to put him in as many ridiculous, over-the-top situations as I could. Um, so I had kind of an unofficial motto to make sure the chief and uh, Bill were screaming in several scenes just because so much of it was so absurd and so entertaining, and I thought that was the best way to portray the character. So I've been sucking on Jolly Ranchers all day because with the screaming last night, I just about woke up without a voice and then I screamed again this morning through five or six takes and I'm just worried that at some point during the day, the voice is going to give out. So we're, we're sucking on candies like mad. <laughs> all rats are members of the Communist Party! All rats must be captured! Bill was great to work with. He's Super funny, super sweet. I, I honestly, I don't see anyone else being a chief. He did a great job. And he's got that chief voice, and I love his moments where he kind of has those flashbacks of like panic. So it's, um, he did a good job. <laughs> there we go.